Thanks, Jen Winters and Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment tonight. Millions of Americans saw a two-part special report on Fox News this week about senior Chief Petty Officer Robert O'Neill, a Navy SEAL, who says he killed Osama bin Laden on May 1st, 2011 in Pakistan. The special was fascinating, shedding light on the SEAL operation and the dramatic events that took place. The downside is that Rear Admiral Brian Losey, commander of the SEALs, has strongly criticized Mr. O'Neill, saying he violated SEAL protocol about talking about the operation, that he should not have done that. Here now is Robert O'Neill. First of all, why did you go public? You knew what the protocol was. You knew the admiral is saying we had a tradition, we don't talk about it. You knew all that. Why did you go public? Uh, there, I wasn't planning on going public with this until uh, this summer when I went to the 9-11 memorial with the intention of donating a piece of... I want to donate my shirt and the flag that I wore on my shirt into the room uh, where Osama bin Laden was living. Uh, while I was there, I was sort of on a stage to give an impromptu talk. I started to talk to them, and as I was talking, I was looking at, at, the, at the audience, uh, no drives in the room. One woman in particular told me I didn't close a chapter in the worst thing that's ever happened. I closed the entire book, and she was not afraid anymore. All right, so you believe by coming forward that the pain experienced by the people who lost loved ones on 9-11 and the entire country would be assuaged a little bit because you could tell them, look, we got him. We got the guy behind this. That's essentially it? That's essentially it. 90 minutes in the helicopter. You go from Afghanistan into Pakistan. You know what you're going there for. You land in the compound, bin Laden's compound. Get off the helicopter. You go in the compound. First thing you saw. Well, the first thing I saw in the compound was looking up at the actual house that I've been studying for so long. And the first thought was, wow, this is some Navy SEAL stuff. This is, this is so cool that I'm here. All right. So you were uh, prepared to go in because you had done so much research. But when you get in the door, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you see? The first thing I saw was a long hallway with... Uh, uh, doors on either side leading to rooms and then, and then I, at the end of the hallway was another door that two of my uh, my fellow teammates were using methods of entry to try to breach the door. Did you hear anything? Uh, I could hear an explosion now and then and then I could hear my guys sort of rounding up the women and children and putting them in the same place. So you're going up the stairs? Yes. All right. So you're on the ground floor, you go up the stairs. What do you see on the second floor? Uh, well, on the way up the stairs, the analyst told us we're going to run into Khalid bin Laden. That's his son. Okay. And if we do, he's the last line of defense, and Osama bin Laden will be upstairs. So uh, the son of bin Laden came out after one of the SEALs said something to him in what, Pashto? I think he said something in, in Pashto and in Arabic. Okay. And he said his name for sure. So he went out and bang, shot. You yes. didn't give him a chance to surrender or anything like that? He was armed and he made a move behind the banister. Okay. Mm -hmm. You saw that? Yeah, I did. I, see, I, saw, I saw him move as I made my way there. And he, had, he was armed? He was definitely Okay, armed. so he's down. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you proceed. Yes. It's you and what, six, six guys? There's probably six or seven, seven guys in front of me, and uh -huh. we were going up the stairs. When we got to the second floor, all but the first guy went to the right and left to clear other, we call them threats, whether it was a closed door, an open door, or sure. unknowns. You and the other SEAL, yes. you go up the stairway to the third floor. Yep. You get to the third floor landing. What do you mm -hmm. see? We went to the third floor. He went through the curtain and grabbed what were a, few, a few women that were moving around and he sort of pushed them down the hallway and fell on top of them and why did he, he do did that? that because he was he was sure they were going to blow up and he wanted to absorb the blast so his teammate behind him wow. could get the shot off that's you yes he didn't know it was me he knew it was one of his guys okay so he takes the women yep. three or four of them yes pushes them on the ground goes down mm -hmm. all right so you can get a clear well, shot I, I turned to the right and there's an open door into a bedroom i turn that corner and standing a few feet in front of me is osama bin laden you see him i Eye. It's just you and him. It's correct? me, him, and his wife. He's got his hands on the back of his wife, and they're they're moving. Um, his wife is is looking right she's at you. Feet away from. She's sort of looking over my shoulder. It was pretty dark, and they couldn't really see me. Okay, so. The wife is, though, in front. Yes. Uh, you, you're here, wife's there, yep. he's behind the wife. Yes. Hiding behind the wife? He's, he's not surrendering, is all I can say. He, 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 if he was surrendering, he'd be laying on his face. Or his hands would be up in the air. Right. The hands are on the wife's back. Right. And, and just in that movement and the recognition and, you know, assuming he's wearing a vest, he's, he, he's, uh, that's, I'm within my rules of engagement, so I shot him twice. Explosive vest is yes. what you're talking about. Yes. Okay. But what do you think he was doing? behind his wife. What was he doing there? I, I don't know what he was doing. All I know is he wasn't surrendering, and I knew my rules of engagement. Just 
take him out because Absolutely. he might pull he's, something he, and blow uh, He up. could be detonating a vest. He could be detonating the explosives that are rigged in the house. Did he say anything? He didn't say anything. Did the wife say anything? No, not not after not before he was shot. Then he shot. What does the wife do? Uh, I, I shot him twice, and he fell down. I shot him again, and then I took the wife over to the bed because we needed to like subdue her. And there was a two year old, about a two year old uh, boy in the room. Wow. So we put them on the bed. Was the wife saying anything? Crying? Screaming? Um, she was. She was. She was screaming. Uh, you know, it was con it was confusing for her. I'm sure. Right. And at this point, other seals are coming in to help out. To help out. So you shot him in the head. Yes. Okay. Twice in the head, Twice he in the head, falls. Then, then I shot him in the head again. And you shot him in the head on the ground? Yes. Okay. But he didn't say a word the whole thing? No. All right. You knew it was him right away? Uh, right away. Okay. Big guy, right? Taller than me, yes. Um, how tall are you? Uh, six foot. So he's about 6'3", six, 6'4"? Six, about that. All right. Big beard? No, I'm surprised with that. He had a shorter beard than I was used to seeing on the famous pictures, but he hadn't been seen, obviously, in a while. You put uh, bin Laden's body in a bag. Take yes. back with you, right? Did you take yes. anything, and you take a bunch of computers and computers stuff like and anything that. that there could be intelligence right. where we could develop more targets. Yes. Right, but you didn't take the wife or anything like that. No, huh? we did not. Interesting, mm -hmm. because the wife might have known things. Yes, but we, you know, we were just we were worried about that, you know, just the the objective. Subsequently, when you look back on it, any thoughts? Yeah, my thought is uh, I'm just proud to have been invited to be a part of the greatest team I've ever seen assembled. Um, I'm proud that, that our government picked that team to do that job. It was an honor to be there. It was an honor to, to help with the healing process of people that lost so much. Mr. O'Neill, thanks for coming in. Fascinating. Thank you so much You're for having me. You're a patriot. Thank you, Thank you very much. On deck, an update on...